Howdy, today we're going to be talking about a classic, one of the greatest horror movies of all time, the Sombified Survivor Horror Masterpiece, Dawn of the Dead, 1978. Holy shit. Written and directed by George A. Romero, up to 10 years after he introduced the modern zombie in the black and white classic Night of the Living Dead, this picks up the missing pieces from the long hiatus in between films. It opens a news television studio where basically two doctors are discussing and trying to give out a better understanding about the situation at hand. But everyone is flipping their nuts over everything, not knowing how to continue on with this bizarre outbreak. Here we meet first our married couple protagonists Stephen and Francine. Then into the carnage to start off the feel and theme of this movie as a big SWAT team break into a commission complex to remove everyone from there to keep them from the zombies who have overtaken the whole complex. The violence is first seen in this movie and it's quite of the times of what a lot of horror movies were achieving with the gore and the thick pink ready blood mixture. It's claimed that the influence for the blood in this movie was done in the style of a comic book which does make the movie stand out as a unique addition on horror cinema. After all the killing and people being attacked in the commission complex, our other set of protagonists, Peter and Roger, finally meet in the basement and just discuss the impact this is having on them. Time passes and the four leads finally meet and fly off in Stephen's chopper for civilization. They stop for gas and this scene gets to testing how vulnerable at first is Stephen and Fran to the zombies. This scene is finished off with a brutal special effects moment when the zombie's dome gets cut right off by the helicopter blades. They got a guy apparently with a huge forehead to make it work. Quite lovely effect, yes. They finally make it to the mall, which is where they would spend the rest of the movie, and they aim to survive up in the storage room until the time is right, but instead see the zombies in the place as a place to rest once they clean out the zombies. They block off the entrances with trucks, which ends badly as Peter takes the first couple of bites from the zombies. After cleaning the mall from the dead, the group just survive as normal and try to enjoy it. But after Peter dies, the final three are left in the messy situation, snapping and losing hope to the situation at hand. Roger dies. A group of bikers spot the helicopter up in the mall roof and aim to take over the place. When in, the bikers fuck around with all the work they'd done and make a mockery of the dead. After some firing at one another, the bikers start fading off from the film. Steven gets shot and finally takes a bite for himself and it all looks to be over. Steven rises up from the dead and goes to find Peter and Fran who are blocked off in the storage room till a subconscious brained Steven remembers the stairway they blocked off and heads on up. Steven gets wasted and Peter sends Fran up in a helicopter claiming he doesn't want to leave. When all seems lost, Peter fucks off that idea and heads on up to the helicopter, breaking through the herd of zombies and both flying off into the distance. <laughs> The original ending had them both killing themselves with Fran putting her head up in the helicopter blades and Peter shooting himself and kind of makes it a saviour in the end for what they did keeping that ending because once all this crap is gone through you feel a relief, you feel like you've accomplished what they've accomplished and escaped with them. This movie's got to be one of the best movies coming out of the 70s which is a tough decade due to such great movies like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, The Exorcist and more dominated in the genre. But the sheer thrill and entertaining power this movie has just makes it stand out that much more. It sends a subtle message to Dan and even in current times the local retail themes that swipe through the malls and become the zombies from themes like advertising, money, prices, items and so on. As far as George Romero films go, as great as a lot of his other works are, this has got to be my favourite if not my favourite and it's got to be my most repeated film like in my whole collection. With these forms of creatures that George Romero popularised in Night of Living Dead, he changes his more up from horror to, as Dawn of the Dead is, in my eyes, a nightmarish adrenaline rush as we see these zombies attack these four survivors and stay in this hellish, almost claustrophobic environment the entire film. Great fucking movie, great soundtrack by Goblin, Great acting, great special effects, great story, great. Thanks.